wolves, one of North America's most iconic animals. But we've all heard the sayings, big bad wolf, wolves at the door, hungry like a wolf. They all describe wolves as a terrifying, ferocious predator. There were once up to half a million wolves in the United States. But because of their fierce reputation, the government started an intense program of wolf eradication. By the 1960s, they had been practically wiped out. There were only around 300 animals left in the entire lower 48 states, and they were in dire need of protection. One of the first people to see how badly misunderstood wolves were was my friend, Marlon Perkins. His whole life, it had troubled him how wolves were being deliberately exterminated from all the lower 48 states. And he knew that they were valuable apex predators who kept um, an ecosystem in balance. In North America, the gray wolf is the most common. Though even after they were protected, their numbers only recovered to around 10,000. Then there's the slightly smaller and much more endangered red wolf. Red wolves were extinct in North America, but in 1971, Marlon Perkins created an endangered wolf center in Missouri to breed them. Part of our conservation work at the Endangered Wolf Center is to help grow the numbers of these endangered species and eventually release them back out into the wild. We are the most successful breeding facility for endangered canids in the world. I'm visiting to help prepare their latest litter of pups that could soon be joining a small but growing wild population. We're about to go up and assist in the actual first checkup of the rarest wolves in the United States. Their first checkup to see how well they're doing. They're in their den, and they're very den-bound up until a few months old. Mm -hmm. One at a time, each pup will get their turn with the vet. Oh, she looks great. We're gonna cover her face there just to help keep go. her calm. And this is the first actual contact with humans ever, yes. right? It's a big day for her. Yeah. This young wolf only exists because of a captive breeding program like this one. Today's checkup is critical to make sure these prized pups stay strong and healthy. I can't believe it. I'm just, in, I'm kind of shaking. Yeah. yeah. The fact that I can't believe in my hands is this very rare, very endangered wolf. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to take care of these animals. You're holding the most endangered wolf in the world, and that she'll have a chance, hopefully, someday to run free in the wild. That's what it's all about. That's why we're here. Yeah. Where would these, there's a good chance these might go. Right now, the recovery efforts are in North Carolina, mm -hmm. a beautiful place called Alligator National Wildlife Refuge sure. and some surrounding refuges. And uh, we've been working on getting wolves from here and from other facilities like us released back out into the wild to help save the American red wolf. Yeah. After a full body condition check, the pup gets some vaccinations to protect them from deadly diseases. I think she's all done, so okay. we can go ahead and put her in her crate. All right. You got her? Yeah. Come on, little one. Hey, kid. You're on your way. Well, that's one down. Four pups to go. Another girl. girl. Wow. A couple ticks in her right ear. Ticks in right ear. Left ear, kid. Mm -hmm. So tick-free, inoculated, and dewormed and microchipped. A tiny microchip allows the program to keep track of these pups throughout their lifetime. When you're talking about endangered species, you want to give them all the boost you can boost yeah. you can give them. It's our first boy. Of course it's a boy. He's all muddy. <laughs> <laughs> so they all seem to be healthy and in good weight. Peter, you want to help us get the last pup out uh, of the den? I didn't do anything to get the last <laughs> pup out. I figured. <laughs> yeah. You can okay. check her teeth. Nice teeth. They're really perfect nice shape, aren't they? they are. Yeah. There you go, kid. This will help you immensely. Well, this is the last of the wolves in the litter. They've all been examined, vaccinated, wormed, and they're ready to go back in the security of their den box. So let's take you back. All right, you can lower that lid. Good job, guys. <laughs> well done. 
They all looked healthy. They all weighed very similar in weight. The mother is actually taking very good care of them. I hope we can tell as many people in the world as they see these pictures up close how magnificent these little wolves are and we'll all participate in saving more habitat and saving wild lands so someday they can be released back to the wild where they belong. My heart is still pounding. <laughs> I think theirs is too. <laughs>